Well, hello, this is Tumble Dumpling, and welcome back to the Hardcore Challenge. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. So here's basically where we left off. We needed to put a roof on this system yet. We want to get a bunch more villagers bred. And... But we don't really need to do too much here. But as I want more villagers in here, I just want to have them available. So that's why I uh, built this unit yesterday. So we're going to need to put a roof on this thing. We're going to need to choose a block to cover up our villagers back there. Color, cover up the villagers that are going to be in the holding cell there. Cover up these guys. And also cover up the, this guy that's in the holding pattern here. This guy is safe. So we don't have to worry about him. So let's, let's do it. So what would be a good block for that? Deadeye Wolf, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I wish you could, I wish you could turn terracotta into a half slab. You can't. And I wouldn't do netherrack half slabs, they're ugly. Salim, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? I'm glad you're doing well, Deadeye. All right, so I don't have much for sandstone stuff. I could mine a bunch out, but I don't really feel like it. So we're not going to do that in dirt. Uh, we could do it in wood. But I would like to save this wood for other projects. So that's back over to here. And I think we're just going to use some stone slabs. It's always a little nicer when you take the time to roast them. So I'm going to make some roasted stone slabs or smooth stone, as we like to call it in the human field. And that's right there. So let's take five of those. Get rid of that. So we've got a, a couple things to do. We're going to get these areas roofed up where we need it roofed up and then we're going to go on a trek a trek to see if we can find ourselves a beehive or a couple of them because we need that for some advancements there we go that's going to cook into smooth stone <clears throat> did i wolf i was ma able to make a conduit I went on an adventure and ravaged a bunch of temples, shipwrecks, and buried treasures. How do you how do you use the conduit? Oh, so Nightbot Nightbot uh, doesn't like links. So don't know what your link was. I don't know if it was a picture or not. Uh, conduit involves a specific block placement. I'll see if I can build it for you while that's cooking. I'm just going to use a bunch of dirt. So you need to use special blocks like these ones here. Anything prismarine related. And here's the pattern. So five wide. You're going to make it an X. Now you're going to come up another four. You're going to come up another four. Now you're going to just bridge these across. It's going to look like that. And then you come and bring this across like this. This is the, the best pattern. This will give you the most coverage with your, uh, with your conduit. So that's all prismarine related bricks or blocks. And then the prismarine or the, um, the conduit, you're going to place right there and break this block out. And Bingo Bango, you have yourself uh, a working conduit, and they are super, super powerful. Very, very good idea to use them. Does that make sense, did I? What does it do? 
It makes it so you can see underwater with really, really good vision. It makes it so you can breathe underwater um, indefinitely, as long as you're within 90 blocks of the center of the conduit. That's, the, that's why it's best to use this design. Uh, the more prismarine blocks that you have adjacent to it like this with a one water air space or one, one water space in between, the more blocks away this thing has an effect. So this is the most effect, uh, the most potent effect. And there we go, it's cleaned. All right, how are we doing there? I'm just gonna go sleep this one out. Oh, do I even have a bed? Up there. Probably could use another bed out here. Now, of course, that on, that conduit, uh, well, not of course, I believe that conduit needs to be underwater for it to work. And you'll know you did it right because it'll start pulsating like a heartbeat. Uh, you know what? I'm taking that with me. All right. So let's continue on with this day. I got a lot of boats here, so I'm going to do something with them at one point here. I don't want them in my inventory. It's a waste of space. Did I put anything like chests in here? That's a, a definite no. I thought I had leftover chests. Man, I, I might have lost a bunch of stuff at one point here. crap not that it's the end of the world I used the wrong the wrong pickaxe I hope it's not one of those days all right There, done. Okay, so we're waiting for these things. For the time being, we're gonna get rid of some of these. Mm, no, I should actually um, put them up where they belong. So I'm gonna make a couple double chests. Yeah, I got a lot of... <laughs> I have so many ender pearls, I don't even actually know what to do with them. It's really funny. Four. Yeah, let's, let's do a little bit more. There we go. That'll give me a place to put all that junk. And I'm going to take this for now. And I'm going to put this away because I don't want to be tempted to use that again. I'm going to need the sand. And that's, that's a good amount for now. Do I have a stone cutter in my stuff? do not have a stone cutter. I know there's one in the uh, other villages. I don't think it really matters though. So in my wood stuff, do I have another? No, now I do.
Doesn't hurt to have one of those with you. Okay, let's go build a roof. And you know what? As long as these guys are still alive, which they won't be forever, but as long as they're alive, having them underneath here is probably smart. Because now they have lightning protection as well. Just trying to think ahead a little bit. All right, they're good now. Spread them out nicely just for fun. I don't, you know, social distancing and all that nonsense. All right, back up we go. So let's give these guys a roof. I'm not planning on extending them further out that way or that way. So what we will do is just pretend that they're okay. Use our imagination, a lot of inverted... Inverted amid, or what is it? Inverted vision and a lot of imagination. That's how it goes. But before we do that, let's first of all use this because it's right here. We're going to get some slabs on the go. We're going to need a lot. Wrong thing. There it is. Slabs. And now we're going to just stack ourselves up. I'm going to use this as a reference point to ensure we're tall enough. Now I need to be at least six up. But I might as well make this all one roof from there to the other side. So I want to be six up from here. And one more for good measure. Bang, that is my roof level. It's going to take a little time. I'm going to go back to there. Uh, one more. Good. Now let's go and establish how far we want to go to either side here. I want to overhang by a couple at least. Okay, that's that one right there. So two overhanging. I'm happy with that. All right, this is in line with that one, two more. Okay, good. And how do we want to hang this over here? I um, think that's in line with that, so at least two more. Yes, that's what we want. Oops. See if I can pick that one up. Nope. So one more in and across we go. So we'll make a nice square here. A square that looks oddly like a rectangle. And if I've done it right, it should line up on the other side. Oh, what am I thinking? I've got a pot of coffee that I, I need to be working on here. 
So I'm just going to extend this right out, line it up with the other one, and this will be a giant roof structure. So this will work good. All right, but on that note, I need, I need coffee. It's coming down. All right, so I gotta say, this is day two of the Black & Decker coffee pot with automatic grinder. Um, it's uh, still still pretty, pretty good in my books. Still thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, the cleanup, now the cleanup on my last grinder coffee pot was a nightmare. This one is not a nightmare. This one is super easy to clean. So I'd recommend this coffee maker to, to anyone. For those of you who like coffee, you don't like coffee, you probably don't want this. All right, so we're gonna have to make a number of passes across here to get this all filled in. This will take a little bit of time. I'm gonna go down and, and collect this one I dropped. And I can collect these now too. Okay. So that's what this roof is going to look like. It doesn't look like anything special. It, it will be actually filled in too. It's not going to be that lazy. Oh, I almost built a roof. Yeah. Oops. Well, I should probably enjoy the, the night. Now, not for mobs, but for just aesthetics, I may need to light up this area once I'm done. This is probably going to create a lot of shadows down there because this is going to be a fairly large roof. Larger than anything I've made before, that's for sure. At least on stream. It's probably smarter to go from this side anyways. Mm-hmm. Just double tapping those things in there. Amazing. Double amazing. So I'm just going to run stringers down here about three apart it's easy to to bridge a, a three block gap when you get to the four block gap that's where it gets trickier okay good so then i come out another three four so obviously i'm going to need to cook a few more of these things
Hmm. Nice. So I'm going to need a lot more blocks. Let's go get a lot more. Actually, we're just going to pick a bunch more up to brew. All right, and back up we go. Two, three, four. Unfortunately, the roof on the other side will not be a huge deal. It'll be the easy part. This will be the larger roof. It won't be hard to do. It's just going to take a little bit of time because of the sheer amount of blocks I got to put in. Alright, so we're going to start just running our way down here. you got to have the perfect finger tapping pace for this. And when you don't get it, you get double taps like that. Sometimes I can get it, most of the time I can't. Right. Come on. All right, well, we're getting somewhere here. So I remember back in the day putting in slabs like this and so we're, we're going back a few versions here but they would have a tendency to ghost block into the wrong position so right now these are the lower half slabs sometimes you'd be placing in say the top half slabs and it would go and ghost block in as the lower half but of course not ghost block because it would stay there that was frustrating it's uh, doing a lot better now, other than when I'm placing it. All 
All right, I'm going to go reclaim some of these. We go. Wish there was a faster way to do this, but there isn't. That I know of. Other than using commands, which we're not going to do. I can do that pretty quick. All right, we're going to go collect, hopefully, most of these now. Well, some of them for sure. Half of them. Probably the most beautiful roof I've ever made in my life. much left on this portion. It's actually going a little faster than I was expecting. All right. A few more to go. Unbelievable. And then we get in these, and we get to move on to a different portion. Okay, this roof is very close to complete. So we'll sleep to the night and see what happens next. There we go. Apparently I fell off. Yeah, I forgot and left that open. That's right, you gotta come around like that. Okay, good. So I need to do an adjustment here. Wanna have it so I can access some chests here. So what I'm going to do is bring out this. And I'm just going to make storage. All right, 
It'll look a little janky, but that's the way I roll. All right, there's my chess. Try that. There, that's just to hold stuff like this. Good. <laughs> Not gonna go ahead and call it pretty, but effective, yes. Good. So we got that. Now a little covered area for this guy. Because sometimes he'll be spending the night here. What the? Nah, he can just die. This guy needs a covered area. So this guy will be sitting down there. I don't really care about this guy coming over here. If this guy is so unlucky that he gets hit by lightning while traveling along here, he probably deserves to die. And it's a villager anyway, so that'll be good. So these guys, though, uh, we want to keep them alive, so we're going to go up another five. And we're going to give them a, a couple blocks of coverage to each side. So I'm going to give them one more on each side just for fun. So that's there. So three. And he's right there. So two more out this way. Pretty much totally unnecessary, but this is overkill big time. I just want to make sure. The, the, the worst part is there could be up to 24 villagers standing down there. If you have 24 villagers, adult villagers standing there, and a lightning storm comes in and manages to strike right there, all 24 of them turn into witches right now. That sucks a little. I'd like that's time for hurt feelings reports and everything. All right, so that's covered. He's good. Oh, what happened? Something's not right here. Screwed up something here. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Th yep. Did I screw up something else? Probably. Okay, so they can make it into their... Oh, yes, they're playing that game. Well, that's fine. They're allowed to play that game. Uh, that's the hoppity hop game. They love this game. So eventually he'll find his way underneath or he will wait to be bum-rushed by someone else. But they're going into their meeting chamber. Yeah, excellent. I guess... Um, I had another sign in my inventory I could actually just give him a, a third sign nah now nah, he, he can just figure it out they're smart okay that leads me to this area where these guys are aimlessly throwing potatoes at each other <laughs> keep off the grass that's right that's right mr. sausage I think I flew far, far enough up. All 
All right, guys. You ready for this? I am. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's uh, make sure that's right. You're here, an extra three. Okay, good. I'm not gonna have enough, but I have more down below. Yay. And we'll just use the old crouch method to get as many in as possible right now. Okay, lightning proof completed for half of it. I need more. Now, is Numbnut still in there? I think he made it through. I can't tell. Oh, we got a few, a few uh, trainees, future trainees waiting for us here. That's good. And they're protected too. And they always jump right. So I should be able to fill in a little bit of this with glass so I don't constantly fall off of it. Because I have a way of doing that. Okay, good. Glass things, Ugh. good, and so the roofs are complete other than a little bit here, which we're going to craft on the roof when we figure out how many we need. Five times three is 15 plus four is 19, which is not divisible by six. So we make 24. Awesome. No, well, whatever was there was divisible by six, somehow. Either way, I don't care. There we go. We have a working... Oh, there you go, buddy. So this is our villager breeder. This is our uh, child or youth to adult converter separator. This is our holding area. Uh, our conversion area starts underneath this side of the, the big uh, roofed area there. Life is good. So this is complete. Almost got it. He's trying to place it and sleep on it simultaneously. Almost. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Let's just unload some of these stone things. Let's get some more illumination. We're going to need more, though, sooner than later. So I've got a seven firework rocket distance away that I can go. 
that's how we're going to look at that and food i got enough food what i do need is my silk touch i need a campfire and a trap door would be handy if i have one or make one so let's let's make a trap door So we have two trap doors. I need to make a fire, which is, I think, charcoal and sticks and something. Who knows? Maybe I can make it with that. Nope. Charcoal, sticks. Uh, I'm going to just look it up because I really can't remember. So a campfire. Oh, I need... We actually need the, the full wood blocks. Okay. of some type. We have those. Did I have any full? No. There we go. So I should be set up to find a beehive or many. So this is a grassy area back here. It's not the type of grassy area I need. So I may want to actually reconsider. But what the heck? What's the worst that could happen? Other than dying. I think the answer is dying. Yeah, the worst that could happen is I could die and lose my whole world. So we're, we're going to fly over this way and not die. And um, try to find some beehives. Good thing that we're flying over a desert. We can find lots of beehives. HP Dev, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? You get to stop by for a minute or two. That's fantastic. I'm on the great hunt for the bee in a desert because my whole world is basically a desert wasteland until you fly like a thousand blocks away. Doing a break at work? That's great. Which way am I flying, by the way? East. Okay, what, what do we have there? Oh! Oh! Well, uh, I'm I'm doing well, HP, and I'm doing better. I just found, I just found a jungle. Now, I'm pretty sure beehives don't naturally occur in the jungle. They might occur in a birch forest, though. Okay, so we're going to just touch down. We're going to look for the beehive first, and then we're going to do a little bit of exploration. I think I saw a beehive. I'll just fly down into this terrible hole that I'm sure is full of mobs. Walk around these bloody trees. So HP Dev, when can I catch a stream from you next? You pretty much shut her down for a bit, haven't you? Or have I been just missing your notifications, which happens a lot? Alright, so far I'm not finding any beehives. Uh, I find them all the time when I'm not looking for them, but when I'm looking for them, I could be touching it and not see it. Saturdays at 2pm this week. 
And starting next week, we'll have more streams. MDT. Can't remember what MD, what time zone MDT is, or what it's called. Um, now, are you streaming on, on YouTube, Twitch, or are you simulcasting? Still looking. Finding nothing. Ooh. No way. That's a tree down there. That's fantastic. What a great idea. Let's have a subtraining tree. Well, HP, if I'm not streaming at two myself, which I probably will be, I'm, I might just have to check in. See what type of shenanigans you're up to. <laughs> Is the tree part of the cave update? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're skipping ahead. Okay, so I see chickens. I don't actually see any bees yet. Oh, Charity Grunwald, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You have just enough time to get some food in your face. Well, that's good. Food belongs inside faces. Okay, where are you, you little buggers? I will find you. I will hunt you, and then I will eat your honey. Oh, hi. Look at these. You're a funny looking bee. Can you shovel bees? Kind of. All right, so we are on the lookout for bees and we are finding around about nothing. Yet on my last world, I couldn't stop running into beehives. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. Oh, beautiful. Totally beautiful. It even got a bee in it. Um, you break those with an axe, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay, so that's one with a bee. We confirmed it flying in. That's that's really important. <laughs> the elusive pink pink four-legged ground flightless bee. Yeah, that's what those are. And that's the black and white ones. Here. You're supposed to mine these type of bees with an axe. Oh, sorry. Oh, good thing I remembered to bring a bed this time. 
Okay, so there's another bee, which may not have a nest, unless I give him one. Okay, let's... You know what? I'm going to give him the nest. Here. He's a little slow. Little slow. Okay, now we sleep. That was pretty successful. And I'm gonna go and take these guys home, crossbreed the absolute crap out of them, because that's how we do it. Oh, there's another one. And you there, sir. I see you sitting there looking all important. Would you like my bow? Yes, you would. Oh, good. He's, he's going to kill himself. Oh, he just committed Sodoku. You're not supposed to do that. All right, you. You look like a wonderful bee, too. Oh, bamboo. Uh, let's get a, a flower. Mr. B. Okay, stop. Stop. Thank you. I wonder what type of creatures are in here. Hey there, little fella. You're looking for a place to go to, aren't you? Um, we're probably beyond the two minutes, though, so we're going to not chance it. Now, is there another bees nest around here somewhere i don't know if um the beehives are naturally occurring in the jungles or not i have no clue i haven't forgotten about you i still love you you're very bee like okay there you oh no no don't go in the water dum dum Is. Ah, cocoa beans. Now, cocoa beans are something really, really important. They are always referred to as useless cocoa beans because they are, in fact, useless. So let's collect some. Very important to collect useless things. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so a couple important things. I want some bamboo. And I want some mellings. Yeah, they spawn on oak and birch. I was familiar familiar with that rule. Just didn't know if there was a, a, a chance now with some of the updates that they could spawn or occur in other areas as well. You never know. All right. Regardless, I have two bees, so I can breed them to oblivion. So that should be good. So I have two melons now. Now, at one point, I'm probably going to make a flying machine here that... Um, that just griefs the whole jungle with lava the whole thing because lava or jungles are good i'll get a bunch of saplings and then i'm gonna i'm gonna burn it to the ground because i'm an environmentalist that is how we do it okay so i see some bamboo which i want some of just in case just to show them And bamboo breaks the easiest with a sword. And we have bamboo. Now the question is, do we have a bamboo forest? I think we should get into flight mode for this because it's a little crazy to be in the jungle. So we're just going to fly around the outskirts and just give it a good look-see. So bamboo... Bamboo forests occur within the jungles, if memory serves.
This is uh, pretty exciting for me. I actually don't really like jungles, but it's one of those areas that I need to explore to unlock all the different uh, advancements if I want 100% this sucker. Some hairy looking trees. Now one thing I am going to have to do is breed a couple pandas and apparently they are a little tricky to find. So that is something I want to keep my eyes out for as well. Still have not found a bamboo forest. And I may have to walk home if I keep using up rockets. Which is not the end of the world. Well, we're going to call this journey uh, relatively successful. Maybe I should take some of these. I'm going to uh, take a sampling. See if I can get see if I can get 8 80 of these fancy little things here. So far I've got none. It's pretty pretty impressive. None. Jungle trees suck for giving up saplings. Could be here for the next seven hours trying to get one. At this rate. Oh, I got one. Got something else. I got two. Probably don't need that. I've got a well-stocked area of poppies. At least temporarily. So I've got four. We, we're, we're looking up. We're, things are looking up. Things are looking good here. We have five. My goal is eight. That is six. And I have a stick. Okay, we are up to seven. Ooh, we have eight. This is good. All right, let's get a, a squirrel's eye view. See if we can find any more beehives by scanning the area. Because I wouldn't mind another one for my entourage. Not seeing anything from up here. It's kind of a hard, um, a hard ask. Okay, apparently I'm doing something funny. Okay, that's good too. Is that another one over here? Um, how about I just go down here? It's nice down here. Okay, a little bit of ghost blocking. Good. Well, there may very well be another beehive down here somewhere. But if I want to find it... Oh, I hear a parrot. Uh, seeds. Would you, Polly would like a, a cracker? 
Okay. Polly does not want a cracker. How, would you like this cracker? Not that one either. Oh, yeah. So true to form. And try not to get a seed. See how long you last. Okay, so I've got some seeds. Now, can I remember where the guy was? It's down here, wasn't it? Oh, this is just classy. So true to form. Nope. All right, well, I'll get back to you. This, this involves further investigation here. If I can find my bed... Now, if I have to, I'm going to take my findings to over there because it looks like there's a lot of grass there. Cauldron! The only losing world, world is the world not played. <laughs> I don't... How's it going, Cauldron? Welcome to the stream. Oh, here we go. Seeds. More seeds. How's it going, Cauldron? How did, uh, how did Poppy fare? She didn't die, did she? Hopefully not. Alright, where were you? There you are. Oh, you're an ornery bugger. Oh, I'm doing okay. Other than I'm not well lung liked amongst the bird community here. I've fed that thing over 10 seeds already. Thought I saw a seed go down. I did. All right. As I recoil back. <laughs> you were stressed, but she got the shulker home. Yeah. I, I think sometimes it it's totally overwhelming for her because she gets all these different conflicting ideas from her her chat no a few people are in agreement most people aren't and it's it would be very tricky if you didn't actually research before trying to do, take on a task getting a shulker into the overworld is less than fun well like once you once you get set up it's no big deal but the first few times it's not fun Okay, I love you guys too, but instead, oh, I'm sorry. Here, have your meat back. There, that makes it better. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I think you'd be able to do it. it it's not actually difficult. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and prep work. And <laughs> researching it a bit to start helps a lot. <laughs> All right, you? Oh, wow. Really? You want to be my friend now. You're so nice. So that's one. Oh, good. It's going to come after me for a bit. I want to breed it. So I have to make another friend if I can find one. And then I'm probably going to kill it. Oh, there are seeds there. I need those. Uh, Cauldron, you're working on getting uh, a, do a double chest of uh, chicken eggs now to try the rose trick. Oh, yeah. It, that one's super, super easy. <laughs> that one anyone can do. Uh, other than it, that takes just patience to get the eggs and get the, uh, and break all the eggs. All right. Now, Birdie, where did you end up? Unfortunately, these guys do not teleport to you. Or is he on my shoulder? There he is. Okay. Let's go this way, bud. We are looking for a mate. Oh, a cauldron. Yeah, exactly. There's some really good trips and tricks for that. You can get a lot of eggs. Or is he teleporting to me? If he is, this is good. Here, I'm going to just try buggering off a little bit. Yeah, it's teleporting to me. Pesky bird. Uh, Dead Eye Wolf says use a hopper and a dispenser. Yes. Uh, if I were to do that a bunch more times, that's exactly how I would do it. Um, get a fast uh, pulsing uh, redstone device and dispenser with a whole bunch of eggs in it and just let it go off. Who cares if it kills some of the birds? Or <laughs> birds, I got birds on the brain. All right, I need another bird. I want to do this once, kill the birds, and be done with it. So we're going to just keep near the water's edge. <laughs> Poor birds. <laughs> I won't kill him. Well, I probably will. The problem is, I don't even necessarily mean to kill my different pets. It just kind of happens a lot. And my villagers. Kill those two accidentally. Sometimes, sometimes I kill those on purpose because they're awful. Just awful things. This bird really wants to follow me. I'm okay with this. Won't be following me when I'm flying, though. You know what? I should, um... I should do this. <laughs> no, I have not seen Gr Grian's hermit craft, but... I think um I think I appreciate him now. <laughs> is that bird gonna take damage? Oh <laughs> so the bird is definitely teleporting to me. Kine is the legend. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Looking for uh, some parrots in the jungle that we just found. Just to, that's mine. I've already got one. 
just to um, do some breeding to get that under, out of the way for advancements. So we've already unlocked one extra advancement today. That, that's good. I wasn't expecting to get that one. Wasn't expecting to find a jungle. Complete fluke. Right, any other birds here for me? My bird. It's a nice one too. I really like the colors on that. Look at the plumage. Well, we got some more useless coca berries. That's good. Oh boy. Which biome are we in here? Jungle Edge. That's a, a good one to get for the adventuring uh, advancement. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Only one good thing here. Sticky pistons. Oh. Okay. Where are you coming from? I hear noise. All right. Don't need any of those. Those are a waste of time. So we'll just go in from the side after we get some footage. Really? Oh, I see what was happening. He was getting hit. Where did I put my food? There. I better sleep. All right, let's try this again. Food, pickaxe. Get some good stuff. Beautiful. Take that too. There's some more redstone that travels through here. All gold dispenser. I'll take that just because it's a dispenser that's useless. Take that. Um, what can I get rid of here? Poppies. And I don't need all those air. Well, that doesn't matter. Poppies can go there. Cobblestone can go there. Bones. There we go. So I've basically collected almost everything useful from here. Except for that gold. I'll take the gold. And there's another, there you go. And you can sit in the pile with all the rest. Excellent. Okay, let's, um, let's keep searching for another bird just so we can try to do a, a get uh, one of the breedings off the list. And let's get hopelessly lost in the jungle. OK. 
Okay. Gonna go to sword mode here just in case something bad happens. Hmm. Oh yeah, so I, I do have this too, and that. So I'll be okay if I don't feel like having overloaded chest. Hey, hey, hey. Nothing bad ever happens in Minecraft. I totally agree. Like, what could go wrong in this game? Even in hardcore mode, it's always good. Right, there's another one of those pigs. Is that what I think it is right there? Tis. You, my friend, are going to have a mate that looks exactly like you soon. And that totally didn't work. <laughs> One. Um... I don't know what to feed these guys to breed them, actually. Anyone in chat know what I need to feed two parrots to get them to breed to one another? I thought it was just seeds. That obviously doesn't work. No. Uh, I, I hit the new parent parrot once and it was bred. Done. Cocoa beans? Chocolate chip cookie cookies? <laughs> well, we got cocoa beans. So you're telling me that cocoa beans aren't actually completely useless? No. There's another bird down there too. And fish going around in circles. Okay, so I gotta do cookies. I've never made cookies before. That's the funny part. So now I have three parrots. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to make cookies. So I did bring this with me. Now I can yeet these. Okay, wheat and cocoa beans. Okay, fair enough. I don't have wheat. But there is a... Okay, I think I have a plan. No, I don't. I have no idea what I'm going to do. All right. West. This is the way home. So we're just going to walk through until we get somewhere. And I think there's actually a village somewhere. We're getting all technical now. Grab the seeds and use some bones. Oh! Okay, that's, that's wise. So I don't have the bones anymore because I heaved them on the ground. So if I can find that uh, the, the jungle temple, we'll see if we can make that work for me. Okay, how many do I have here? One, two, three. Good. I know I'm going west. So if I can find the, the jungle temple, which was right near here somewhere... I might be able to get those bones. 
Ah, oh, it's right there. And do exactly what's being talked about here because that is so smart. Good thing we got smart people in the chat. All right. All right, those are all gone, but there was some in the chest. Yes. Do I have any levers in my inventory just out of curiosity? No. Bob Barden. Cookie kills Parrot instantly. Yes. Sounds like you're trolling. Welcome to the stream regardless. We're going to go make a mini, a mini farm. The miniest mini farm ever. I guess in real life a, a chocolate chip cookie may very well kill a bird. Certainly could have troubles for a dog. All right. And he just buggered off. Oh, there he goes. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got um, Zed Neds. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> you win, Epic J? I guess Epic J is here, too. How many seeds do I have? I got five. I'm planting two. See, so yeah, how do you like that for inventory management? That's pretty good, eh? Okay. There we go. And bone meal. I've got... Okay. This, that, that happened. <laughs> you cannot breed parrots? I'm making. I'm gonna. I'm gonna feed them anyways. That's too bad. You can't breed them. Okay. Just took a screenshot of that. That needed to happen. Either way, I tamed him. I know that's part of something. But we're gonna. You know, we're, we're gonna try anyways because I don't really care. All right. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to put those in there, those in there, those in there. Uh, might want that. Don't need that. Potatoes can go in there. Dispensers, they're good. Those are good. Excellent. And uh, now we're, we're going to make cookies anyways. We're feeling like making cookies. You want to make cookies? Let's make cookies. Um, put away the cocoa beans, though. There we go. We have made cookies. You look like you want cookies. <laughs> you weren't lying. <laughs> I got trolled. And the person who wasn't trolling, I called a troll. Okay. This is good, though. Yes. Come to me. Where are you? Okay, that is so funny. Yeah, okay. So cookies it is. That's going down in my database of awesome information about Minecraft and how things can just go awry. Okay, that was totally worth it. I'm leaving that there. That looks nice there. <laughs> I'm sorry for not believing you, Bob. Irrational, but perfect. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That was great. I said I was going to kill the parrots. And I, I said it might happen unintentionally. It happened. I don't like pets in this game anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. Which way am I going? North. I want to be going west to get home. 
So I'm actually just going to walk through here, see if I can find a couple more bees' nests, and not kill the bees. I won't try to feed them cookies. <laughs> Google is trolling. Nice. Somebody's got a troll. I hope it was you that that I just sent the message to on Discord. Uh, probably. I, I don't have Discord open when I'm playing. That's funny. So now I'm going to purposely bring cookies out every time I go looking for, uh, looking for parrots because I, I really enjoy how they died from it. I think that's a great addition to the game. I wonder if you give cookies to a dog in, um, in Minecraft if they die too. Right, this might be a good area to find myself a, a beehive if I'm looking. <laughs> so David Swills, welcome to the stream. You just got timed out of Twitch chat for an hour and 18 minutes. In Cauldron, yes, the, the cookie ate the, or killed the parrot. And not just one parrot, I killed three of them. So that was not, that was not a troll. That was legit. Very funny though. I wouldn't want those pesky things hanging around me all the time anyways. Yeah. All in the name of science. That's what Robot on Twitch says. Oh, you got time to don't buy the bot. Um, I'll, I'll have to look into that later. David Swills, are, are you someone like uh, Dead Eye Wolf or something like that? Did you uh, post a link and it, and it failed? Ooh. Let's try. Cookie time. Would you like a cookie? Okay, dogs don't like the cookies. Yeah, I'll have to, if that's what's happening with the Twitch bot, I'll have to adjust that. I don't want people getting timed out for doing legitimate things. Oh, I see a bee. Still going west. Oh, I think I see a beehive. Yes. Not gonna feed you a cookie? Nope. How much stuff is in that? Oh yeah, it's a brand new beehive because we've never been in this area before. <laughs> a cauldron, you, you literally got griefed by Google. That is fantastic. That's funny. Okay, are you coming back? If you're coming back to the hive, I want to stick around. Ooh, I should help him out. Oh, you're dead eye wolf. Okay. Um Give me a second. Um It's middle day. I'm just I'm gonna pause the game for a second. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. 
I'm going to go into mod view. I was wondering why you went quiet there. I so, was wondering why you went quiet there. Oh, one second. So, I've got to mute myself. So, in other words, I'm going to get the, uh, the echo. So, what was that? I think it's untime out. Yes. Untime out. Dead Eye Wolf. Oh, you get two Fs. Uh, Dead Eye Wolf, uh, it, it appears that you are actually not timed out anymore. So give it, give it a try. See, see if your uh, messages come through again. Oh, and you never post a link without asking. Okay, well that that's weird. I don't understand that one. And quite frankly, even if you did post a link, I wouldn't time you out. You've been a loyal watcher for a while. Oh, there you are. Good. Sorry about that. It's not what we want to have happen during our streams. All right, let's go help out this little bugger. Don't need those. One, two, okay, tell you what, work on it. So I'm trying to keep these guys local here. There, they're both working it. Epic J, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, Dead Eye Wolf, it's uh, Nightbot that I'm using. Mainly for channel commands. Okay, that's one, two. So I got two minutes now to pick them up. And I got it. Alright guys, I'm going home. Unless I see another beehive right close by here, I'm going home. Is that fire I'm looking at? That is fire. Fires are good too. Oh yeah, it's because of this. We'll go and have a look in the chest just for fun. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of lava. I got something to fix that. Nothing. Useless. Nightbot is mean. <laughs> yes. Nightbot is very mean. Alright. Let's get into the air. So apparently we went f a fair distance sideways. Well, while we're heading back home, this is a perfect time to sip on my coffee. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Feeling it. I, I really like this map that I've found here. There's lots of neat stuff going on here. Lots of villages.
So right now I'm going west. And I'm going to need to turn north soon. A uh, dead eye wolf. That is a great question. Yeah, so far I've had a pretty good luck with the amount of gold I get out of it. Often there's a couple gold blocks, so that that's really good. All right, you can see my home now. And my crazy villager set up, which is now all roofed up. Let's uh, go take a quick look to see if we got any uh, friendly slimes down in the hole. Oh, we got a grandpa slime there. Grandpa slime, you are going to meet your end. King slime, done. Die. I better sleep and then we'll find a good place to set up our beehives. I think I'm going to make a solarium for the beehives. Bees are a little finicky. They fly away and then they just bugger off. Pun intended. So we just need a nice little area that we can plant some some flowers for them. So for the time being, we're just going to sort out our inventory a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, plants. I think I did this in wood things though. Yes. So jungle saplings, there we go. That's happiness all over the place. Mob droppings. Put those in there. That goes into the mob droppings as well. So I've got a fair number of slime balls accumulating. And I haven't even built a slime farm yet. But this will go good for any type of flying machine that I decide I want to build. Got some good stuff going there. Some wood things. Wood. And we're going to actually call this a wood thing because, well, it's not. It makes no sense whatsoever, so we should do it. Tools. That goes in the tools bin. Sand. Uh, that has its own spot in the sorter, so it, same with that. I'm going to, going to call this a wood thing as well. Um, okay, uh, Dead Eye Wolf, I see a lot of videos where they build them in an underground place, robot sausage. I hear they cut down on the frequency of uh, broken portals found in the overworld. Yes, that um, uh, building them in the underground is a good plan. It's something that both Robot Sausage and I have done. Seems to work out well. And Robot Sausage, yes, with the most recent update, they cut down on the amount of portals. But because this world is from... 20w16a i still have all the ruined portals all over the place so i get the best of both worlds and some extra glitches to go with it uh, redstone this is super duper important and uh, that goes somewhere else that goes in with there i'm gonna need a great deal more redstone at one point and let's get some of this other stuff put away. That charcoal can go right into this precious stuff. My precious. Good. Right. So I've already kind of uh, accomplished the, the two major things I was thinking about. So that means we need to... Means we need to kill this guy because... He's in the wrong place. 
he's uh, pissed off. He can kill me, so. So that probably won't affect spawn rates, but it's good to take care of them anyways. See the only guy that was walking around here? Yeah. He's good to go. Dig out more, more of a diaper. <laughs> Should get lots of redstone. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> good call. Nice play on words. Okay, so I'm going to keep one stack of flowers for the bees. That can go there. I'm going to put away those last couple blocks, and then I'm basically sorted. Oh, I do need to do this, though. That was the wrong thing. Put a couple things in there that probably don't belong. Um, cocoa beans can come out of there. Those don't belong. That does belong. That doesn't belong. And that can just stay in there. Beautiful. Got lots of room left in the inventory. Used the right pickaxe that time. That was good of me. Stefani. Uh, Stefania? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully I didn't just totally butcher your name. And dirt goes on the other side. For now. And Epic J, welcome to the stream. So we are just doing some stuffs here. I'm about to build a solarium. Got to figure out where I want to build it. Oh, wait a minute. Dirt goes over here. In the dirt bin. Right. Dirt is cleaned. I might need some of that dirt, actually. Just getting some stuff put away so I can actually think about doing what I'm doing. I'm going to put this down with the... That was in plants, wasn't it? No. Not plants, not food. Wood. That's right. So we're going to put these in here. Even though this doesn't belong, these all belong together. Along with this... So we're going to do some stuffs here. You can put some gold away. Mob droppings. More plants. I didn't put that up with the food, did I? No. Okay. Plants. And that's going to get turned into a farm at one point, even though I'm never going to use it, and I know I'm not going to. I'm going to put this in with that too. And some redstone devices. Now having a dispenser. That's not redstone. That's transportation. Having dispensers is a good thing. Having tripwire hooks is also a good thing. If you're not into redstone, all those things will be completely useless to you. If you like redstone like me, it's very good. Okay, there. So just a couple more things to put away here. The potatoes and the bow oh i know where to put the bow potatoes go in the bin there we go gravy 
and nothing that's too damaged right now. What I do need to do though is get up there and get some uh, gunpowder. I need gunpowder fairly badly because I am now out of rockets. So we're just going to go up and do a little bit of kill kill. Eventually I'm going to convert that thing into a creeper only farm. It's not right now. Right now I could use some of the other drops. Not really, but a little bit. First things first, I should go and take out any enchanted armor. Or any armor. Oh, wow. Oh, that thing's almost maxed out. That's impressive. Anything else in here? Protection 2. Good. Now, anything that is just regular armor gets heaved. Now, what was that? Was that... Where'd he go? Oh, the golden boots. Feather falling 4, protection 3, and breaking 3, depth strider 2. And now it's not maxed out, but those are pretty good boots. All right, let's go to the, the hideout zone and just wait for some drops to happen. So just looking from above here while we're waiting for them to drop down, I'm thinking that the B zone... Hmm. The funny part is I could actually do the B zone inside the lake if I really felt like it. But in all honesty, I'm thinking the B zone should be by the shack there. I think that would be a good place for it. Unless anyone else has any suggestions. It won't matter. It's not going to be a huge place. I'm probably going to make it. I don't know, 11 by 5 or something like that. That gives me more than enough room to to expand and move around. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. Let's um let's get some stuff healed up. Fuse that a little bit. Okay. Well, most important thing first. Beautiful. So everything is healed now. We can have that back. We can have that back. Okay, we're just going to do this a few times. If I can come out of here with... Uh, geez, even even a half stack or a full stack of, of gunpowder, I'm pretty happy for right now. This is a, a, a site um, less efficient than the one that I'm building in my server world. I'm building a creeper farm by um, Logical Geek Boy is the guy's name in my server world and we're talking about 30 to 35,000 gunpowder an hour that's the drop rates on that and this is just a little less than that just a, just just a bit See what we got. We've got 24 there. I don't like how these things stack up. Okay, that's 44. 
just a few thousand less an hour not much <laughs> yes <laughs> that's just it you know what forget this let's put her bed down move on for the day anything else fine you what they want to give me a couple more I'll I'll take it get rid of all the non-enchanted bows you know if I decide that I'm gonna spend any sort of time here I will do just that right now I don't really care All right, good enough. Okay, so I got 50 gunpowder, that ought to be enough. Too bad it's not a multiple of three. Um, in illumination, I think I had paper. I need to get more, I can do that. Oh, look at that. All right, so we're just gonna get some paper to get some firework rockets going. You never know when you're gonna need some firework rockets, especially when that's your primary form of transportation. Because flight is the best. Yeah, we'll get a little bit more over here. Did I plant the bamboo? No, that's kind of silly of me. I'm going to plant them right away. As soon as I'm finished collecting this and getting my firework rockets in, in tow. I was wondering what the giant thing swimming in the water was and then I look, uh, oh yeah, turtle. Okay, good. Let's get this converted over to paper. Not bad. So I'm gonna take the that too, just in case. Ooh, that was a perfect amount. All right. So I could make some more. I got 51. You know, I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm doing all right. And plants. Bamboo. Plant. Not bamboo. Bamboo. Plant them all. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So we're going to do one there. That's not really where I wanted. I wanted. Nah, who cares? Worst can happen. Let them grow. All right. Uh, glass chamber for beehives. Hmm. Not quite enough glass. Okay. Well, we would know what to do. Get it cooking. We do have a little bit of sand. Yeah, and sooner than later, I'm going to have bamboo growing uncontrollably. I was thinking about putting the beehive right down in there, but that's a that's extra work now. Mind you, it's only a top layer of water. Everything else is just flowing water. There we go, that's cooking. So let's take the little bit of glass that we do have 
and start laying it out kind of what I'm thinking here. So I need to build another fire pit. Oh, wait a minute. Done. Here is my new beehive enclosure. Now they can't get through doors, so we will just go and steal this door right here. Oh, not that one. There's a cow in there. That one. It's going to be beautiful. I never use doors. So I need to make it so I can plant flowers here. So I need to actually place grass in there. So we'll do a bunch of dirt and one piece of grass because I have some. And look at that. And then that bam bamboo already beautiful. Very small, but. Okay. That's over in the dirt aisle. Dirt. Three of those. A little bit of that. go and this should probably not be dirt that should be a solid block like this cut sandstone so nobody can take the door out other than a zomboid should have more than plenty of glass now and I'm gonna make this a couple high Mm hmm That'll be the roof line area. Take that out. And then, of course, some light. Um, there. Beautiful. There, we have a self-enclosed little area here. This is wonderful. And it even has a kind of a neat design because of the natural features that were involved here. we go so the sand will have to get put away the dirt goes up into the dirt area and what do we got glass the glass will go over with the glass stuff there I got lots more of it cooking. I'm gonna have to deal with all this stuff and throw it in the sea soon. Good there. Gonna have to start using my diamond hoe eventually for something because I'm gonna have to break it. Uh, let's get this thing going. That was in wood things. So I'm gonna need to build another campfire. So another campfire. And that was this, sticks, and wood blocks. Three of them. So do I have any sticks in here right now? No. Now I do. There we go. So this will be a pretty simple design. 
I'm just going to go and put down a campfire right there. I'm going to put this campfire right here. And I'm going to take these. Put that there. These over top. Now that way the bees can't fly into there and die from the campfire, because they will. They're not smart. And now we're going to get a couple of these out here. Good. I've got some left over for the bees, and the bees end up right there and right there. Super simple, super easy. So the bees will come out after nighttime, and we should be good. At least they should, because there should be two inside each hive. Oh, I wonder if we're blocking the bottom. I'm going to lift this up one. And then watch from outdoors. This should work whether or not the fire is going, unless they've changed something. Okay, just out of curiosity, do have they changed this? Because in real life, if you smoke a beehive like this, they're not going to want to come out. Okay, that might be the case. No problem. Let them do their thing. So we've got one out. Let's see if we can get a couple more popping out. Who knows, we may have a weird timing thing too, because I... Well, we're, we're going to run some experimentation here. First of all, let's, um, let's put this back in. I don't think this makes a difference. So we got to wait for these guys to get out of the way of the door. You need to fly out of here. All right. Now we find out. Now we find out whether or not they fill up with honey or nectar or honeycomb, whatever we're going to decide to go and harvest from there. And let's have a look at the actual achievements. Okay, so they went inside. So two minutes later, so that they should come back out. So, jump onto a honey honey block to break your fall. Okay, so I'll need to make one of those. Under husbandry. Move a bee's nest with three bees inside using silk touch. Okay, so we're gearing up for that one. Uh, use a campfire to collect honey from a beehive with a without aggravating the bees okay so we're we're on the path for those two enchantments now what was that first one okay so I, i'm going to make a honey block so i think we're going to get four achievements today this is good so we're going to let them do their thing and we're going to find out if having the campfires underneath them will make it so they just don't come out anymore.
we've got some eggs here. Well, while we're waiting for them, I'm going to take a little flight. I'm going to get all these enchantments pulled off of these armors and get the armor thrown away. Right. So let's just see what I should have in my off hands. Not that. This. There we go. So all these should have their enchantments off of there and that all went into my inventory for XP. And there we go. Now how many of these guys are still alive? There is three still alive under there, that is good. And let's go have a look to see if our bees have decided to come out yet. Didn't like that one. It was offset from the others. That was going to bug me to no end. Unlike these ones. These ones aren't offset at all. Nope. Not a bit. Okay, so they are full. Let's get some uh, jars. Got eight. It's more than enough. Okay. So we got a couple advancements here. Now the question is, are they going to come out? Or do the fires need to be away? Oh, while we're at it. Okay. So we got that one. We are just going to break these out for now. So I'm not sure if they're going in and out or not. I can't remember. And I didn't stick around to find out. The thing is that they're going to just, they're going to keep going from these flowers here because there's not much more that they need. They're in a tiny little location with a bunch of flowers. They're very, very happy bees in there. So I need to collect two more to get, uh, to get a honey block and then I can unlock another achievement. Now these guys at one point are probably going to die. Mystically. Either way, I'm enamored with these bees. Okay, they're out and about. We got one, two, three, four. Should be two more. Yep, there they are all. And they're working away. So that means on short notice, they're going to have those two beehives plugged up with the good stuff. So while we're waiting for that cycle, let's go and take some more dirt and work it around this thing so we can actually go in there and do stuff. So dirt, take a couple of those. Right now it's hard to harvest anything here. So we're just gonna fill this in. Put a couple around there. Now where, I can go one more out there. One, two, three, four, yes. Now 
and we'll put in one grass block just to show them. Having trouble? So what we're not going to do is we're not going to put any dirt blocks in there because then the pumpkins can grow across to it and I don't want that. I'm going to put in something else there instead. Now on this side I need to be careful as well. If I go any further out I will lose hydration on that side or, or I could lose hydration at least in a portion of this. I don't want to lose my hydration because then the crops don't grow as efficiently. They'll never die because they're planted. That looks dumb, so I'm going to take out these last two. I have a little bit of sand here, so... There. So we'll put a block of grass right there as well. Is this a 24-hour stream? No, I, <laughs> I'm too old for that. Um, I typically stream from 1 o'clock or 1 p.m. Mountain Time uh, to 4 or 5 p.m. Mountain Time, depending on what I have up in the day. Uh, so sometimes I stream a little bit longer. But I've got, yeah, I've got about an hour and three-quarter left to go for what I plan to do today. <laughs> All right, dirt. Give this a little bit of dirt. <laughs> At our ages, it'd be lucky to be able to stream for 24 minutes. <laughs> That's a long time. we go oh I should have let the bees go in for the night oh well so I'm gonna continue this experiment I think I, the problem was I was too impatient I think the bees can still go inside when the, the fire is going We'll find out because if those get honey in them later then I know that they're coming out and still uh, harvesting the the flowers there all right let's make a honey block I could have done that right in my inventory one honey block complete Now, you may have to go down beside it. Or we may have to jump down on top of it. I'm not sure. There, there's an enchantment or an enchantment. There is an advancement, something to do with this. Right there. Mm, not quite. Mm, try this. We'll figure it out. SMRT. And that was just falling straight through the ground. Albeit entertaining, not exactly what we were hoping for. Okay. Let's try it that way. Nope.
Nope. Really don't actually know how to do this one. I'm going to take a look here again and see if that helps us out a little bit. Jump onto a honey block to break your fall. Jump into. Okay, so that's suggesting you're doing a lateral jump. Oh, I can do higher fall, but I'm going to get more honey blocks first. Here, let's take this back. Mine. Yeah, jump onto the side of it is what it what it means. Yeah, and I agree. I think that's what it means too. It just comes down to how is it scripted in Minecraft? How high do you need to be falling or do you need to be falling a certain velocity in Minecraft first? So it's a, yeah, we'll figure it out. But Okay, so they are coming out when it's smoking. So let's wait for it, and we're going to get a couple more. I figure if I get two... Oh, there we go. If I get two blocks, I can maybe do this without dying. Epic J says, I'm pretty sure that you can, can just rub up against the side. I've already done that, though, Epic J. Didn't work. Because ideally... Okay, that's what it did before. But there you go. That one's done. <laughs> that was hard. That was really hard. Probably the hardest thing I've done for a while. Okay, so confirmed. The bees go in and out with the smoke. So I'm just going to leave them exactly like that. And probably what I'll end up doing is cutting in a couple more. All right, um, getting some, what do you call it? A honeycomb block. And yeah, and then I can make more beehives. But I don't really need honeycomb. It's, it's interesting. Oh, and I probably need to drink this for part of one of the challenges. Ah, there we go. So that's done for one of the challenges as well. And uh, this is this is really odd an odd block so i'm putting it under precious my precious excellent yeah robot sausage the, and that's that's the part i knew the the smoke makes the honey harvest safe so you don't aggro them but i also wanted to make sure that they hadn't made an update for 116 that makes it so the bees won't come out when they're being smoked because frankly that's real life All right, I'm not going to pay attention to them anymore. We've got, how many did we unlock from them? We got that one. Give a pillager a taste of their own medicine. Okay, possibly later. So we've gotten 32 of 42 biomes now. That's good. <laughs> there's real life and then there's craved. Yeah, exactly. So I've got to kill 11 more monsters. i got to have a, a totem of undying and use it. Which I'm going to do it in an extremely controlled fashion. Okay, this one I would like to take out to a very, very frightening. Strike a villager with lightning. It does mean that I need to stay up for a couple nights until we have a thunderstorm. And then I need to bring the villager out into plain sight. Which is good, they're just in boats. Bring them, bring them out into plain sight over here. Um, 
so they're in direct communication with the sky above them and heave uh, heave my good old-fashioned Titan stick on them and see what happens. So that is uh, definitely something I'd like to do before the end of this stream. Now let's um, let's talk slime farm. While we're waiting for things to happen, we can start talking about the slime farm and start figuring out exactly how I want to do that. So in a slime farm, what I like to do is um, just have a really, really simple setup where you've got a number of floors. And I think it turns out to be eight or nine floors. So the first floor will be just a couple blocks, well, three blocks below that line there. And now that's block 42. So one, two, three, minus another one. So it's actually 42 minus four. So block 38 would be the first top tower, the, the, the spawn bed, if you will. So 34, or 38, 34, 30, 26, 22, 18, 14, 10, and 6. Now, 6 may not be one. That may not leave me enough room to collect down below. Nembom Simple Farm works. I think I've seen that before. Uh, the, what I'm thinking is even more simple than what I think you're mentioning there. Start at, start at 49. Well, if you start at, oh, thir 39? Um, do I get any mob spawns if I start the first one at 39? Because that puts my slimes at le Y level 40 where they don't summon or where they don't spawn in. Didn't I turn that off? Oh, that's just that. Okay. There we go. So we're going to want a, a bunch of those. That was 51. I want thousands. So 39 might work. It doesn't really matter, though, because I'm going to get so many... I'm going to get so many here it doesn't it's going to be crazy so let's just think about this for a second do i have any blocks on me yes i got sand so that is y level five six and seven so if i start at my top one at seven that, that will end up um on 39 so 7 11 15 19 23 27 uh, 31, 35, 39. Yes. So that's that could be perfect. Because I want these guys to drop down onto an area. And I can either use the Wither Roses that I had collected, which I don't have enough of. Let's be fair. Uh, down on, on the top of this layer. Or probably the easier way, Magma Blocks. That's what you have now? Excellent. So Deadeye Wolf is using the system that we're talking about. So if I have magma blocks here, then I can do a couple things. I can either uh, figure it out a way to use water passage to bring the slime balls over to a collection area, which I'll probably just tie right into the actual item pump that I have over on the side. Or I can have a, a minecart going around here. Uh, minecart with hopper picking up. Now, I prefer not to use that system if I have to, but it, it does make your life a little bit easier. So, we're just going to leave that there for now. No, we're not. I don't need that. But it all comes down to how I choose to do the kill system here. So I'm waiting for a thunderstorm to come in. That means I need to stay alive and awake. So what I am going to do, 
is I'm just going to go down into the water and I'm going to do some night fighting, w waiting for this event to happen. So I'm going to get a little bit of further away from the village. Ooh, there's a bunch of terracotta down here. Unless that's red st sand. And I'm just going to go for a trident hunt. Because, well, why not? And this guy is going to die. Because he does that and screws with around when I'm trying to hit things. So you there, sir, is dead. You there, sir, are also going to be dead soon. Where are you? There you are. Hi. <laughs> of course, I can't hit them. Okay, that's taken care of. So now let's try to find one of our spear throwers. Uh, Magma 1 uses packed ice. Oops. Uses packed ice and, and pressure plates. Yeah, that can work out all right. Oh, I know the one you're thinking of. Yeah, that, that works pretty good. Okay. Dolphins are pissing me off now. That doesn't take too long, by the way. And I, I've got a bunch of magma already. You get to stay alive. I like you. Neat. Apparently I'm in flight mode. So this isn't going to happen. Alright, so I have not seen one drowned yet. This is amazing. Oh, what did I hear? The best part is I'm going to have no idea where I am by the time I get out of here. I'm just swimming around aimlessly. Oh, well, let's explore this area. This is supposed to be my future home where I'm going to build my, my, I don't know what I'm going to build, something. It'll be nifty. Oh, yeah? Yeah? How about that? So I think I killed the other one. So I want to get up there. I could fly up, but I feel like I'm just going to water bucket just for fun. Try not to get blown up by creepers or anything. You. I like you. There you go. So this isn't actually the place. That's the place back there. But this would give us a good vantage point. Ooh. I think I'll take that gold block. Come on. Old steady Eddie here. Got that one. All right, let's 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 do some sniper hunting. Is there anyone in the distance that wants to die? You're not really in the distance, but... 
We'll give it a go. Oh. Unbelievable. Finally. So I'm going to come in. If there's anyone there, they're going to get sniped. Missed. <laughs> well. <laughs> it almost worked. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. The results in pain and suffering. Ugh, jump scare. Okay. Stop it. There, I'm going to need some of this anyways. Now, this stuff. Bye, 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 bye. Good. All right, let's... uh. continue having a look here so that was not the storm night take care of you care of you. Ooh, you're lucky. Not so lucky. All right. So this is going to be a nice area. Now that I'm finished concentrating too hard. Now, exactly how I'm going to build on this thing, I'm not entirely certain yet, but it is going to happen. So chances are I won't be building directly on the top. Chances are that'll be my area down there somehow. But I really, really like this piece of land. It's good, it's really good. Still have not found my boat. All right, they're all seeming pretty happy. I'm gonna leave them be. I don't really care about those guys anymore. Okay, well, let's put away some of the stuff I just got. we go. Right, that's in a different one. Ooh, I got coarse dirt. Oh yes, from the explosion, from the incident. Here we go. Uh, stone things. Right, raw cod. Not too worried about that, but we'll stick that in with the food stuff because eventually we will need to eat cooked cod if I have not done it yet. Here we go. All right. Well.
some magma block. Magma block around. Really don't like the water stream method. But you know what? I'm in a single player world here, so it doesn't matter. That's probably the, the most, probably the cheapest way to do it. I don't have anywhere near enough magma blocks yet. I can fix that. So let's let's think about that for a moment. Um, yeah, there's no point in going down there unless I get more magma blocks. I'm going to just put these back and I'm going to go harvest some. I'm going to go. So let's get into the nether. First of all, let's bring out this. Things get herdified. you're not wearing the right stuff. So let's uh, get down to a level where we can get lots of magma. And let's get lots of magma. So I have a different way down, but I think I want to explore other options. That's fire and magma down there. Is that just a great deal of lava? Yes. So we're not going down there. Not a chance. All right, we're just going to go down the other way. <laughs> I think it's easier. Uh, yeah, up here. So down we go, looking for magma. Mm-hmm. So let's keep this on our off hand so we can go like this. Screw that. Ah. Okay. So we're going to need to play this somewhat safe. There's going to be lots of magma here, but I need to have a way out at all points in time. Okay. Good. Nice. So th the key is don't go down in the hole with it. That's how you die. And you're going to lose some blocks here and there when that happens. Excellent. Okay. Always a way out, right? So we'll go up here and we'll take out some of this stuff. Hopefully we don't open up any lava to go and destroy all those. And if we manage to, to get some more netherrack while we do this, great. Or uh, not netherrack. We, we're getting lots of netherrack. I'm talking the other good stuff. 
netherite. Well, what level are we down here? We are at level 24, so we'd need to go a little bit depth, deeper if we wanted to get the netherite. And we will, just for giggles. Yeah. Damn it. All right, that, so that took out a bunch of our chances there. So let's see if we can fill that back in. How many did we get, though? We've got two, three, three and a half stacks so far. So it's, it's really not that bad. It just, we're going to have to go somewhere else. Stupid lava lakes. All right, let's see if we can get underneath this. We are a little bit high yet. So let's just leave that on. Okay, we are almost at the right level. I wonder if we can have some luck here. Nope, not there. Okay, well, let's have a look. So that's 14, so we should go one more down. That is 18 up there. So really, we can actually just go like this and take a step back as we go like this. All right, this is actually the layer we wanna be at. We wanna be able to see 13 and see 17, and that is the optimal. Oh, am I ever gonna make a netherite sword? Well, that depends if I can find any more Netherite. Because everything to do with the end or the nether sucks. As I'm displaying. Sorry, I'm concentrating really hard, so if I'm missing messages, it's because of that. I'm really earnestly trying not to die of lava poisoning. Well, now that I'm down here, though, I'm now I'm bound and determined to at least find one netherite cache. Got some gold. Don't really care about gold right now. So I'm going to spread out my search pattern a little bit here, too. Patrick, welcome back to the stream. Banana, is that your safe word? All right. Ooh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, that looks like a, a good time to turn and go this way. Can turn that off though.
Okay. And that's just Blackstone, right? Blackstone. I don't care about that. Well, am I going to lock out here or am I going to get skunked? I'll definitely take the quartz. At least it's somewhat useful. Am I a flying chicken? Kind of. It turns out I'm more of a turkey than a flying chicken. Alright. So, I decided to come down here to get some magma blocks, and all of a sudden, I decided I was going to hunt for a little bit of netherite. So far, nothing. That means that I'm probably getting close to actually uncovering some. And if we're away from the Blackstone, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into here again. And how are you doing today, Patrick? I'm being quiet here because I'm concentrating very hard on not dying. And buy stuff like that. There. So that's obviously a place I don't want to be. Wow. Fine. You're you're a beaver at best? Okay. Yeah. So that looks like a good place to end that part of the journey. Ah. That got ended for us. Not going in there. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. All right, screw it. That's just craziness. How did I even get here? Oh, right there. Well, let's try a little bit this way. It's not. Okay, so trying to stay away from my my fatal allergy of death. Oh boy. Nope. Okay, so we are in, on another lava lake here. This area sucks apparently. Nothing. Take those. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. 
Epic J, I have a response for you. I'm getting a I'm getting a netherite sword very shortly here. Cause I have one back at home that's already smelted, so I am good to go. Now I, I gotta be able to pick them up though. Where are they? There we go. Three ancient debris. Happy boy here. Extremely happy boy. And because uh, that seemed like a good area, I'm just going to go through a little bit further. And actually, let's look at where in the chunk, chunk that came in. Okay, in the middle of this chunk. Excellent. See if we can find another piece. Now, now I'm hooked. Mr. Netherite. Where are you? Uh -huh. Okay, that's uh, two more pieces. Now let's go this way. Right. Got lots of netherite quartz happening. This is great. Or uh, not netherite quartz. Quartz. Period. So if I can get two more pieces, that means I can take care of my other pickaxe or something else. Which is good. So let's just go over here, see if we can uncover this. And yeah, I'm not picking up the nether rack. I know this is not normal for me, but I'm, I'm sick of it. Now, is that all going to be lava over there, or is that just one block? It looked like that was just one block of lava. Excellent. All right. If we can get another one in, let's see if we can just find a little bit more. Man, this is like addicting, finding this stuff. Using TNT, I think, is better, but it is so messy. <laughs> okay, so I now have enough for another piece of armor or something. Just going to do a little bit of checking, make sure there's no one, none more nearby. Does not appear to be. Okay, I'm out. Ooh. So I definitely want some gas tears. I'm going to need a bunch coming up. Hi, guys. Hey, bud. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, this ain't very good. Okay, that was not good. Heart's going a little. <sighs> so I don't know if you guys saw what happened there, but um, one of the piglins attacked a zombie pigman or got caught in the crossfire. Pigman took it out on me. So what I need to do is get the heck out of here without getting killed now. Should be okay. The idea is just get the get the F out. Unfortunately, the uh, zombie pigmen are quite strong, apparently. All right, so I'll be fine now. So this is good though. I've uh, got a a bunch of netherite armor that I can use, or um, netherite that I can use, not armor. Already got the armor. Got armor on the brain. So it's been a, a few days in the future now. Probably I'm going to be attacked by. Uh, phantoms so I can get phantom membranes we probably are getting close to a thunderstorm event that is also good uh, I have too much of this in my inventory so we're gonna get rid of that <laughs> and I've already got some netherite scrap so let's smelt this stuff And while we're smelting that, we're going to bring out this. And we're going to stack this up. And just render this down. The good for the experience too. It'll help heal up my pickaxe. And it gets me up in the open air. Take a look around. Beautiful. It's a great way to heal up your, your stuff. There we go. So at one point in time, I probably will have too much of this stuff. Right now, it's still okay. But when is, when is too much ever? Okay, so that's done. And this is already done. So now we need to mix these together. So I got 11 there. It means I need five more. I probably don't need that much. But, oh, I need a lot more. Oh, wait a minute. That's all I got. So I got two. So sword.
Yes. All right, netherite sword is complete. The gold digger is now the netherite gold digger. Now, what is the difference here? Five attack damage to six. So the only other thing would be the amount of, um, uh, what do you call that? How strong it is, whatever. And durability. Or durability, better yet. Endurability. Okay. Mine lost. Good. Well, we've got enough magma blocks to do what I'm thinking. And... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have one of these? Got two. Nice. And I know we got a bunch of ice here. Should be more than enough. So while we're waiting for this, we're going to now path out how we're going to do this. So we're going to go visit the hole in the ground. Because having a slime farm going, it's going to be a good thing. And this thing at the end is going to be our slime collection unit for the time being. So I'm going to bring the slime right up there. And they'll end up there. That'll be happiness time squared. Now, in all reality, it may have been a mistake to, to make this other pickaxe netherite first. Uh, I'm not sure. Having, having a really good bow... Oh no, you can't have a netherite bow. What am I thinking? Who cares? Can't do it. Silliness. No, out of curiosity, where did I bring this thing up? I just did it higgledy piggledy, didn't I? So I'm going to water stream the slime balls from there into this and up it goes. So let's just look at our, our X coordinate. 1173. 1173. That's how far I'm going to have to bring that over underground so I can meet up with that. Right. Not wearing my uh, elytra. So, by the way, you can sustain that fall if you didn't figure that out. All right. So, I better put my elytra on just in case I need to do a quick getaway. I can go away. Excellent. So now let's find the middle-ish of this, because this will be my outlet side and I'll, I'll want to bring it around and do a center channel collection because that seems to work good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is my middle one or the other. So I choose this one. Dang it. Um, could be a problem. Might be a problem, might not be a problem. It's going to depend on a couple things here. So let's just go up one. So we're about to find out whether or not we're in a, a shallow lava lake or a deep one. Okay, so I can work with that so far.
So what we're going to do is just keep it simple. Piss off. Oh, you want to stay there anyways? No, you can stay there. I don't care. Okay, that is actually a good thing. So let's just go one there. I'm going to let the water work for us. That is good. Unnerving, yes, but good. We go. Hey guys, you can all stay there and I'm just gonna keep using this water to actually keep you away. So I'm gonna put that there. That'll push back against the mobs and keep them out of my face. Cause they won't try to actually come in here any more than that because well, they're dumb. Yeah, <laughs> except for that. And where are we at here? So we got a few to go here, but we don't trust anything. So we will have the water flowing constantly, keep the mobs away and lava protection in front of me. I don't feel like dying. Oh, yes, this can happen. Okay, we're getting close. So it was 11.73 that I need to turn the corner at. So I'm gonna keep just bringing this up here for me. Now, if the lava's at, lab is at this level, I gotta quickly back up, which is fine. We're going to get our water back just to be safe. If I need to bow my way out of here, I bow my way out. That's not a big deal. And there we go. That's our water stream. But in the meantime, let's have some fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you got me twice. Dick do do Take that. <laughs> and a bat has been lost. Now, I, I don't know if I need to open this up one more high. I might need to actually have the ice stream coming along here for for the items to come up. Oh, yeah, I never did put that in. So let's let's do this. Just to be safe, I'm gonna put the the soul sand down in here, but I'll need to put in a, a bucket of water. No, I will not. That is good. We're happy. Up we go. Oh, sorry. Answer you, please. You're answered. Ixie, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I'm turning this off. Oh, Ixie, a team. So we don't have any phantoms yet, but it might happen. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well done. <laughs> I 
Oh, you subbed? Awesome. Hope you're doing well today. This guy is not going to do well. All right, my villagers are still alive. No storms yet. Sad. Very sad. There. Well, it's almost daybreak again, and then we can start working down in the hole. Right. Is there any of my fun friends here that want to play swords? Any drowns? Any at all? Oh, hi. You want to play, don't you? You don't have a trident, though, so you're no fun. Okay, the sword is definitely stronger. I typically don't kill those guys until three hits. So I killed that one with two. This guy looks like he has a fishing rod. Nope. No trident for this one. Rotten flesh, yes. We're not too... Hey. Oh, I guess I should breathe. Yeah, good idea. Well, Ixy, we'll see. I'll check out your channel. And if I like what I see, I'll sub to you. How's that sound? Always more than happy to check out people's channels. Okay. So we are in the daytime now. Let's get back to work on this. All right, time for what typically and historically for me has been a really, really not fun build to do. <laughs> but here's the thing the reason why this was a not fun build for me to do historically was because I did not realize what a beacon would do with haste 2 now I know what beacon the beacon does so now mining this out is no big deal well took some time not an awful amount of time, though. So now it's not so bad anymore. So what we're going to do is just build this thing. I think what I'm going to do is just leave this at this level. I probably want to take out one more block high. Yeah, I'm going to take out one more block right now. Just get it done. It's not, not hard. If there's any lava, then I'm going to make a hasty retreat. This one I don't really care about. Oh, crap. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'm going up here anyways. Neat. Oh, I was in flight mode. Okay.
All right, guys, gather around. So we're definitely getting some slime action here. This is not a bad thing. We need slimes. Okay, good. Take care of that too, because we don't like them at all. Bats are terrible. And let's get this filled in. So this should be lit up, albeit temporarily. You know, the reason why we're lighting this up, because it's dark. What was that for a response? Oh boy, now there's more. So this is where the jack-o'-lanterns are going to come in. That's what I'm going to use to light up this area. Um, mobs won't spawn on a, a well-lit area. Slimes and a slime chunk will. So we're just going to use jack-o'-lanterns because they act as a solid block so that these slimes will actually spawn on. But now let's figure out our pattern. So I'm not going to break any bedrock for this particular build. Yes, you can still do it, but it's not any fun. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to put a bunch of this out. So we're going to have a three wide channel. I'm going to, I'm going to take a bunch of this out after. So I may have to take a couple trips out to the nether to get this right. No, I'm not going to line it with hoppers. I'm just going to do it with water again. Yeah, definitely gonna need more, but not much more. Like I said, some of these are coming out. I don't have 12 left, do I? No, I got 11 left. Okay, so I don't need to get more. Because some of these are coming out, like I said. So that's what it's going to look like. That is going to be the killing bed for the actual slimes. So now we got just loose fill junk, whatever, doesn't matter. Whatever I got just goes in here. So, in all reality, I shouldn't have mined this out, but, heck, why not? I'm actually holding on to the cobblestone because I only have a limited amount of it. Um, so, let's, let's just bust this out of here. that in there all right now we need to establish center so my center is not perfect center so I'm taking this out here so my center is there and by center I mean this is where I'm gonna have a center column of water pushing either direction 
except for when this is up a couple blocks, it's going to head out that way and that way. So let's mark this. Hmm, how do I mark that? Good question. Bed? Hmm, should I have that with me just in case. Let's, let's stick a block of ice on it. So that's center. And it should line up with the, the chunk grid. Yeah, so it's just on this side of this middle line. So there's one, two, three, four lines. So there's actually eight. Each of these lines represents two blocks, so that's on that side. Notice how the out stream is on the other side. So that is my center portion. That's how I'm going to do it. So that'll be good there. I'll need to fill this back in. That does not belong like that. That just is where the beacon went in. Ooh. Ooh. Either we're getting laid out or we're having a storm coming in. We have a storm. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be a thunderstorm or a regular storm, but... We're going to get old Dr. Pokenstein. And we're going to go for a, a bit of a sail. So hopefully this will be a thunderstorm. So who of you wants to be my human sacrifice? You look like you want to be one. So we're just going to get out of the desert area. And hopefully it's not hopefully it turns into a big storm and not just a little one. Just going to go over here. So if we have a big storm, life is good. It means that we're going to have some fun with our channeling trident. Okay. That's weird. It's raining underneath the ocean. Normal for Minecraft. Well, I wonder if we get some thunder out of the deal. In the meantime, back on the ranch, let's just boat around and, and wait for something crazy to happen. So unfortunately, there's a lot of desert around here, and that's not what's going to be helping us out here. So we're going to go this way to a place where we know there's not desert. So this is a nice little area. Watch there be a couple beehives right here. I haven't explored this island at all, so I don't know. It's definitely getting dark out. Right. So I've got my bow handy. I've got my trident handy. The bow is for the impending... Um, what do you call those guys? The phantoms? They're probably going to want to show up and give me a bad day. Regardless, I'm, I'm happy pretty close to here. Missing. Hitting. Oh, I see a witch. Which witch was responsible for my death? 
previously. Doesn't appear to be a thunderstorm. We can always hope for the best. Oh, I'm just sucking it. There we go. He's just going to turn into a drown. Right. Well, I'm going to have to endure... Oh, I'm going to have to endure more. This is no fun. Come on, give me thunder. So the, the reason why this is a, a big deal here, first of all, there's an, an achievement or advancement. Second of all, I haven't stayed up for a number of nights for well i think since i went to the end so you have weather events when you stay up for a few nights and you also have phantom events well i've had one phantom event i have not had any weather events and i need a weather event to to get the advancement i'm looking for i need a thunderstorm if i get a thunderstorm i can get an advancement it'll be fun too Speaking of which, too much talking, not enough drinking coffee. Sort of curiosity. It still rains in the in the uh, savannah, I think. We're going to find out in a hurry, that's for sure. Ooh, what was that? Pufferfish. No, it does not. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh. Really? Interesting. It's quite a good size hole. Well, this is a real shame. It means I'm going to have to wait a while for for another rain event. No trident. Don't care about you. Let's go see if there's any vill villagers under here right now. Oh. I did not cover that with a, a roof level. I will have to do that later. I think I heard a, a trident. Of course, I wasn't paying attention to the... Um, the notifications on the right side there. That would have been helpful, but it wasn't. Hmm? 
from great my favorite thing the dull thing <clears throat> Well, that was a bust. Very sad. And the rain cleared up. So I'm still not going to sleep. Uh, what I am going to do is fill up my inventory with a bunch of stuff. Well, that's a lot of mobs. I'm going to wait for the sun to come up on the high side here. Because we could use more, well, I could clean out some of the stuff up top here, too. We got a whole bunch of bows that I just don't need. They're bare minimum. Could actually go and uh, put those bows together with a crafting table. If you take a bunch of almost broken bows and put it together with a crafting table, they strengthen. That's not the one. Uh, I think I do. Yes. And you can go and get a whole bunch of bows for uh, dispensers and stuff like that. Works well. A little irritating, but passes the time. Just like that, I've got two fully repaired bows. I was today years old when you found that out. You didn't know that one? That's cool. You know now. Hmm. Carrot. Carrot. Okay, but we're happy now. We'll break that. Waiting for silly weather events. Oh, great. Now, where did that one drop down to? Oh, I've already got it in my inventory. That's ridiculous. Mm, back up we go. Should have killed the guys, but I didn't. Oh, they're still here. Hi, guys. Esca sword? Yes. Indeed. All right, so we're going to need some stone. So I might as well just fill up. Don't do that yet. Let's fill that up. Can always bring it back. Come on. Uh, apparently we're having issues here. The type where you need a tissue. Okay, good. So I got that. Right. Time to start building this bad boy.
Okay, that was fun. So the reason why I'm making sure that this is all filled in and I'm, I'm not just lighting it, lighting it up, because if, if I would leave a two block void down here, which it would be, or even a one block void, guess who's spawn, spawning in here? More slimes. So we're going to fill it in every block. Now we're going to bring it up another layer, right along like this. Careful, we're near magma. Just like that. It feels good. Uh, Luck MC, I am making a slime farm right now. I did a little mining. going to stick with a very very simple design that's going to use a water stream to push the slimes around so they're going to be taking damage with the magma blocks and the water stream is going to end up pushing out there down a path of ice and um, it's going to get taken up to a sorter that's nearby so we're going to have probably nine layers of happiness here I'm not going to need anywhere near this much slime. I'm just going to build it anyways. It's kind of how we do it when it comes to slime farms. And how are you doing today, uh, Luck MC? Good. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm glad you're doing well too. Okay, so I got one more layer up to go yet. Yeah, if I'm looking at it correctly. Yeah, one more layer to go. But now I should start laying out how the water pattern is going to work. So let's stick this out because I got a few more buckets of water. And I'm going to use some of these blocks to make a permanent water source because I'm feeling smart today. SMRT. Oh, you came from the Spawn Chunks video. Excellent. I hope that helped you out. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just... That went a little faster than I was hoping. So that's the sen standard sound you get to hear when I'm working with this magma blocks. It's just normal. We'll put this back for safekeeping right now. Oh, well, Luck MC, I really appreciate it. I do what I can on YouTube. Hmm. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so now I need to make the water turn down that way. So this is where I need stuff that I don't have right now. 
So what I can do is put in a line of uh, signs right there and put an another line in one block up and then put water, three water sources on top there and that'll go oosh and flush everything that way. So that's what we're thinking about doing right now. Now at this point though, I'm gonna put the signs in here and where I don't have signs, what I do wanna have is ice. So that's where that comes out. We put in the ice. And I did bring some, so that's good. Hey, 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 back down. And then this is going to be ice right here. So we're making that ice because there's going to be no water flowing over top of that. And um, so any items that comes in there will be coming along and accelerate over the ice even quicker, which is helpful. So that's the thought pattern there. So now we're going to have uh, water on the top of this and it's going to come around the corner probably to about here. But in, to in order for us to really see that, we need to get some signs made. So down we go over here. So I don't know how many signs I'm going to need, so I'm just going to bring out a bunch of wood and a bunch of sticks. I don't do it for that. Is there any signs in there? There's no signs in there whatsoever. And sticks. Or not sticks. That. Oh, good. That's full. Let's just get rid of some other junk here that I don't want right now. Don't need that. Uh, die right in the middle. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Don't need obsidian. That's right there. And this goes over here. Don't need the slime balls. They're becoming a hindrance right now. And, oh yeah, that goes in mob droppings too. There, now I've got a little bit of extra space. And plants. That's for the bees anyways. Good. Now I can get the wood. And then I can go and have a, a little nap. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Good. I was not supposed to sleep. I saved it. That's right. You hit escape fast enough and you get out of sleep mode. You don't want to sleep in this scenario. So now it comes down to another battle of... This could be interesting. So I need to get da back down in the hole and potentially get my uh, trident out because I may have another weather event coming. Uh, for the thumbnail, you should make uh, bigger text because it's hard to read. Um, and are you talking for my regular videos or for this particular one here? For the live stream. So far, no weather event. For the live stream. Oh, okay. I, I don't even... I don't think it's actually going to be the right picture that's up there because of uh, you're on YouTube. YouTube automatically chooses the last picture that I put up. Uh, the one for this one is probably different. I, I edit it after the video is done. Uh, the problem here is I multi-stream. So I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So setting things up easily is, it doesn't really happen. 
everything is difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. But I managed to get everything straightened out after the fact. Well, is it going to be Phantom Night? It's definitely not Weather Night. But uh, Luck MC will definitely make sure that I keep my font big. It's ideal when everyone can see what's going on, right? Hi. So we'll see what happens tonight. So night is 8 minutes and 20 seconds long apparently for Minecraft. So we're going to see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to get some stuff healed up at our slow producing mob farm. So if any of you are newer to the stream, what you're looking at here is what we call Mount, uh, Mount Underpants. That was a terracotta mountain that I mined out. And the square hole down there is where the slime farm is going to be. I've got the water stream coming up where the slime balls are going to be taken along a water stream and then sorted out at the mass hoarder here. I've got a small version of Nembomb's iron farm right there. Uh, this used to be a really nasty area. And I went and cleaned it up, flattened it out, and then made a couple lakes. So that is called Golem's Grotto. We have the existing town where there's no villagers whatsoever because I took them all out. And uh, just a little storage area and other stuff area. Uh, this is the world so far. So what I've been doing is playing a hardcore map, a hardcore world. And th this is what I've done so far to set up and stay alive. So I'm not really a creative builder. So when it comes down to really fancy sp uh, structures and architecture, that's not really my forte. Uh, for me, it's all about just staying alive. So right now I'm just trying to establish some farms to do what I really want to do, which is make... Uh, Basically, I want to make TNT flying machines and stuff like that. So we'll see where that all goes. But I have to stay alive because it's a hardcore world. You die, the world goes away. <laughs> so Robot Sausage on Twitch says, uh, Well, that's amusing. Yesterday left the tablet running to to view your last stream no idea how many rains I, raids i took part in but i followed some random uh, minecraft stream when i showed up nice Well, I'm just waiting for the awful sound of the phantoms to come out. Uh, Luck MC or Luke MC, I have an Enderman farm for the uh, for XP already. My stronghold is, if I take a short flight that way, I can get down to my stronghold. And that's that's what I use for XP for the most part. But right now, what I'm trying to do is get attacked by some phantoms. And I'm trying to have a uh, winter, or not a winter storm, a thunderstorm of event. And typically, you need to stay up through a bunch of nights to get a thunderstorm event. Because right now, I'm kind of uh, unlocking achievements or achievement hunting.
Now I'm seeing if I can hit a, a zomboid in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm shooting over his head. Well, I, I think I just got the creeper. Oh, <laughs> I got the zombie there. I'm getting this sense that I'm not going to luck out tonight for phantom attack or for a weather event so i'm just gonna hang tight here for a moment till the the moon goes down uh, the sun is coming up this is a good thing i'm just gonna stay back here and wait for that to happen and then i can fly down back to the hole and keep working in there in the meantime though this goes away Yeah, so just some background. I have killed the Ender Dragon. I've killed two Withers. I've uh, raided four End Cities. And uh, I have three Elytras. So I'm wearing one. I've got two in, two in storage. So I'm, I'm actually a fair distance to the, the game now. I think I'm at 70% complete when it comes to achievements. And I'm aiming for 100% completion, and then at that point, I take this world, hopefully, bigger and better and exciting. Right now, it's more just utility. Kevin, welcome to the stream. And yeah, thank you. It is a nice view. I, I really like waking up in the morning to this. So that's my villager breeder, villager separator. Right beneath me is the villager prison where they wait for me to bring them over there to train them up for a profession and then they get let down onto the villager trading hall which is the weirdest looking one that i've ever made and i'm very happy with it um, it's all now covered with a big roof and that other water stream in the background there is actually the villager conversion therapy unit that is where they go up and meet a zombie, die to a zombie, and then are converted back into a villager to up their their discounts. All right, we're going over here. No weather event last night. Much, much sadness. I got the wood. Yes, I got the wood. Okay, good. Okay, let's start getting the water streams working appropriately. All right, Luke XC, or MC, thank you for showing up for the stream. Thank you for the nice words, too. You have yourself a, a great day. All right, dark oak planks. Let's make 24 of those, and let's make, what am I, yeah, nine of those. Good enough for now. That's not what I wanted. All right. That's not what I wanted. We'll do this a different way. Okay. Now I need to get more of those because I screwed it. Do I have any sticks left? New, I need to make sticks. Did I put sticks in here as well, though? That's better. So I may actually need to go get ice to make this work because getting water to be supported on here sucks. Mm, unless I put dirt in underneath. Yeah. Dirt or something underneath. So let's put something underneath. We'll use this cobblestone. So we're going to put water in there. I'm 
water in there and water in there and now we'll just bust that up and it's going to go all squirrely and it's going to end up in a place where I need to do that now the, the water is going funny right now because I need to put these back in So that is one problem with this system. So right there, I actually need to put in another bucket of water. Then it goes like that. Then I go pick those up, get burnt a little, and be happy. So now we're going to repeat the process on the other side. I don't know if beds can be waterlogged. No. Perfect. So that goes there. It's going to look funny. Beds are easy to break out and they cover two blocks. So it's going to do that back and forth thing until I put these back in. And then once again, it's going to probably get caught in the corner. I'm going to have to put another one of these in. And off it goes. Just like that. Now, unfortunately, if any slimes fall right in here. Oh. Uh, so Kevin says... Um, I was thinking about using wither roses in the slime farm. So was I. And then I did, just didn't do it. It's a good idea, though. It's a really good idea, actually. Now, if a slime falls right there, they're just going to die. And there might be some items that build up here. I've decided. I don't care. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have this as the line of... Uh, ice so we're going to put a line of ice in there and then we're going to get more signs and keep going here it's a really simple system now we're going to build up this whole platform one more as well makes it work good so let's put these signs in just to get them out of the inventory Oh, uh, wrong side. So now we're playing water stream games. Water stream games are the funnest thing ever. Doesn't get better than this. What's the water for? To collect the drops? You bet. How am I going to kill them? Magma does it all by itself. It's a wonderful thing. It's beautiful. This method is uh, tried and tested, so I know it works. The bed is temporary if you haven't figured it out. Just using this to set the water streams in. Break out the bed. It goes whipping out of there. You go pick it up so it doesn't despawn on you. And then you put in the rest of the signs. Signs go in right here. So the water stream brings everything over to here. And it gets kicked out down to here.
uh, what happens if I t take out this? Then the um, if the slimes fall on it, they just stay there. So we actually would prefer to just kill them and have their potentially have their uh, items floating there. Uh, it's a it's better overall than the alternative. On one side, like mean on the end or on the inside, is that what you're talking about? Oh, the water. Um, might work. Okay, let's experiment. Okay, so that one doesn't work. Let's try from the middle. Down through here. Maybe if I set everything back one. See, this, this side doesn't like it. The other side does. <laughs> oh, Miss Beekeeper, welcome back. Uh, do you like do you like Doc? I don't, Kevin. I don't know what Doc M did. So I can I can move this right. I want to keep it somewhat symmetrical. Remove one magma block. I uh, I don't understand why though. What would that do? I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, that I. Or are you talking about right here? Turn this into ice. Um, put another water stream right next to that one. With, I'm assuming you meant with the water drop back in the center. First, put another line of water next to the first one. Dang it. Oh, side by each? You're talking? Like this. And like this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that did it, guys. If that's what you mean, that, that, that totally worked. Now everything's flowing everything okay so I don't, I don't know if that's what you guys were totally meaning but that actually worked out just exactly like that perfectly and if the weather is not going to turn i'm just going to keep working here because chances are i'm not going to get mobs so yeah that that worked all right so this is flowing properly now <laughs> so i'm not going to mess with it it's good uh, now we're going to take up this. This is where we're going to put another line of ice. Mm -hmm. Try again. Oh yeah, I need to do this one yet too. So this was where that one went. So let's get this one in. Keep everything consistent here. So. So far so good.
Okay, this goes back in here. It's the last time we're going to need magma blocks for a bit. Oh, that's probably going to actually travel out one further. If it's in line with this, it's good. No, that's already done, of course. All right, so I do need to finish up those. There we go. Now we got proper water flow for that. And the bed goes back in. There it is. <laughs> I'm just waiting for those phantoms to come in. Oh good, I filled that one up with lighters. So that ended up over there. So that one seems to be flowing nicely. So that brings it over to there, nice. Let's fill that up again, get that next side up. Uh, what can come out of here? I don't need the torches right now. Could light up the area if I really felt like it. I just don't. Um, I think instead of stair step uh, signs and ice, you can use pressure plates. I. You can. You totally can. I don't need to do that. Uh, there's only one problem with that one. Okay. So we get our slime balls from the mini slimes. If they die right here, in this arrangement here where there is just either pressure plates or even just signs, signs would work as well. If they die right there, their, their slime balls are going to stay right there. And that's why when I've made this in the past, I've done this. Um, this isn't... This will take the mini slimes, they'll go bloop over the top and then drop back down and in and then their slime balls will pick up momentum and fire across right to the pickup point. At least that's been my concern. Because if the, the slime comes right here without this upward momentum and dies, it may not have a mom enough momentum to carry slime ball over. So I, I think it... This is just a tiny bit more work, but I, I know it works, so I'm going to stick with the devil I know. I think you're right, though. I think it might work the other way as well. Okay, I gotta fix that yet. So let's get some stuff out of my inventory here. Okay, yeah, we'll just fill this in. I'm using the pressure plate and it works fine, but I have to I have pick up points in each corner. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that's gonna make a difference. I, I think it's just gonna work. But I've got this extra 
uh, level I need to come up anyway, so I'm I'm almost done. I bet you I bet you're both right. It probably works just fine. Okay, there, that looks nicer. So this is supposed to be my outflow. All right. So the water's gonna come around here, so now I need to make a way to get the water flowing so it Fs off this way. So I'm going to, first of all, just get a little bit of ice in there. And by a little bit, I mean the whole thing. Um, let's get some signs in here to control that. Okay, so the water is going to bring the stuff over here. I'm going to put those torches back up because we can get mob spawning on this. So one there. We'll, we'll just fix that in later. Hi, bud. I don't like you either. Okay, good. So that is where the, the outlet is going to go. So at this point, I don't have a slab with me. That would be handy. Don't suppose I have one in there? No, I don't. All right, the water's flowing good. Oh. Where... We have another slime chunk right nearby. Okay, we have another slime chunk over there. No real surprise. All right, this is flowing good. So now we gotta get the water to finish up here nice. So let's do this. So one, two, th three, four. And then we'll get this in here. Not that, this. So if what you guys are seeing works perfectly, and I don't doubt that it does, you basically you have a pressure plate. In my case, I've made signs. You're just going like that. And then in this case, all I would probably need to do is do something like this. And then another one off to the side. You know, if, if that's all we're doing, geez, that's that's pretty good. I, I kind of want to see it in action. I'm looking at this thinking that this is going to be more efficient. So you guys get the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I, I know how it'll work. That's waterlogged, so I need to break that out. Uh, 
Oh, of course that screws up my whole water stream though. Oh, but only just. Okay, let, let's see how it works. Oh yeah, I didn't need that. Okay. That should be still perfectly fine if we go like that. Much easier to build, I'll tell you that much. So that comes in like that, that comes in like that. Two more in there. You guys changed my mind. Do you feel, you should feel proud of yourself. You changed my mind. And of course I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change that sign. That's gonna bug me. Okay. Do I have anything down there yet? Nope. So now this needs to be dealt with though. So that keeps pushing. That pushes away. That goes to the middle. So that's actually perfect. That's good. So. Ah. How did I do that? That was like that. Ha, huh. okay, that doesn't go quite far enough like that. What happens if I go like that? Nope. So all that means is I need to refine this and everything comes out by one block. Uh, I did nothing here, but I would take some credit for, for our chat's power persuasion. Yes. Uh, there's one thing that I've learned. Just life in general. I don't always know what I'm talking about. Or I might know what I'm talking about. But there might be a different way. I'm always happy to find a new way. To me, that's just excitement. Okay, here we go. So that got moved one back. This is going to get moved one back. So the ice gets moved one back. <laughs> you, you like looking at my waterfalls? <laughs> it's like, that's why you like playing with others, yeah. Well, there's something to be said for... Um, running running a, an idea past someone say am i an idiot or is there a better way here because this seems really hard and if you have a good friend they'll say yeah you're an idiot but you did it the right way too All right, now this line of water is in the wrong place now, so we need to move it. So I've got a dewater fire. This is a sponge. It's a water sponge. Works splendidly. You're learning a lot about water mechanics with me? Like how to do it the hard way? That's a good answer, by the way. Okay, so now that it's flowing into there, what I actually want is a half slab there. 
on the top side that means that everything will flow to it and still get pushed down with a little bit of velocity. Now this though gets to go down. So now we're about to find out if anything's going to get hung up. That one did. Different way though. Okay. Good. So now we're going to have a half slab there. So what I should actually do is get that out of the way. I'm going to need a bunch of water, by the way. And just take that out for the time being. And I'm going to make a slab because this is here. So that'll be like that. So any item going through there should get fired right through. Now I'll get water. Lots of water. And this point, we just go down like this. And my findings are that you skip three blocks. You put up your water stop. And then on the fifth block, you put in another bucket of water. Things flow just fine. And after this, we can also adjust how we've put our, what am I doing? We, we can also adjust how we put our, our torches. So one, two, three, four. We're going to put the sign on this side, not because I want to, but because that's gravel. And it could be taken out of there by our friend, the Ender person. All right, so this one, I don't have a choice. I actually have to turn the corner. Just like that. And last bucket of water. Bang. So this comes over to here. Everything gets fired up there. Done. This is actually complete. Don't need a torch there. Torch will not interfere with item flow whatsoever. And I, I just like standing on that stuff. All right, we're near nighttime, so let's get this cleaned up. There we go. That's what that looks like. Now, because this needs to be cleaned up, there we go. So let's put anything we don't want back here. Those two always go there. Those stay in there just in case of an emergency. I'm going to leave those in there just in case of an emergency as well. Stone can actually stay right down here. This is a great place for it. Um, so probably we'll see some loss if you see things getting hung up on the signs. You can try pressure plates. Uh, signs don't have any hitbox. If the signs had a hitbox, you could stand up on them. They don't have any. So th that's not the concern. All right, this, I don't need that anymore. Actually, that goes in there. It's always good to have a crafting table inside your, your nether chest. In you go. I'm running out of food. I'm going to need to trade with villagers soon. Well, let's go see if I can get attacked by phantoms. I'm going to leave this right here. 
and just for giggles I'm gonna light this up I'm gonna need a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns before I actually do this build there we go and away we go tally-ho All right, so no weather event, unfortunately. Still waiting for a thunderstorm. But how about our friends, the Phantoms? I'm here and ready for you. So the best system to use for this is have a um, something with uh, looting three in your offhand, and then shoot the sucker with your, your arrow, if you can. And after your shot's fired, quickly change over even though you didn't shoot it with uh, a device that has looting three on it, your sword does. Minecraft looks at your sword and says, hey, you got looting three, I'm gonna give maximum drops. Now I bet you I will get attacked tonight because it feels like it's time. And I don't know if it waits until midnight, but we'll hear the awful screech of the little fellas if they decide it is time. Oh, they didn't like that at all, especially this little turkey down here. <laughs> it sounds complicated. You don't even know how to use his shield properly. I certainly don't. Oh, I love it when they spin upside down like that. That just makes me so happy. Come on, give her to me. Bing! Upended. Oh, now now I'm just sucking it. <laughs> that guy despawned. Come on, give me a challenge. Oh, there's a spider way back there. Spider, I see you. <laughs> and what are you? Skellington, dead man walking. All right. Well, anything? No screeching? Just sadness. You want to be attacked by something and you just don't get attacked at all. I'm not going to shoot those guys. They'll wreck my field. I like doing the really long shots. They're so much fun. Oh, that's my villager conversion unit, if you guys haven't seen it. All right, long shot. Yeah. So got to make sure that I don't have anything above my head. The phantoms don't like to come out if uh, you're underground or undercover. So what we are going to do is, as soon as night or day breaks, which is going to be sooner than later, and it looks like we're not going to have any phantom fun, uh, I'm going to get the jack-o'-lanterns and set out the lighting pattern that we're going to use downstairs in the slime farm. And really at that point, we're just going to establish what it looks like 
and uh, then I'm going to stop and have something to eat because this boy is getting hungry. Just a little too high. So we'll let the all the bad guys clear out. I don't even like I've got a bunch of villagers sitting underneath in boats, which are probably dead now. We'll find out sooner than later though. But here's a great way to clear them out. Seems how we're not getting any phantoms. I might as well just go up here, let a couple things drop down. And the sun comes up. Look at the glorious square sun. I, I wish the Earth sun was that square. It's beautiful. Just waiting for the day, day to break so we can do our thing here and not be inundated by mobs. Well, I'm going to say it's close enough. Kill these guys just for fun. Get rid of that because I don't want it in my inventory. You got 11 tridents now? That's fantastic. Okay, we're going to get this. Nope. Nope. This in hand. I put my shears down in my tools. Should be right here. So these will all be jack-o'-lanterns. I will need nine times nine. I will need 81 jack-o'-lanterns. But it's going to take me a little while to get there. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the bees as soon as I get these jack-o'-lanterns collected. So I got 53. I'm almost halfway there. Beautiful. And I got 36 torches. Not beautiful. Terrible. But, you know what? It's enough. So what I'm going to do is take 36 of them. That gives me 38 in total. And I'm going to put these in illumination. And for temporary plants, I'm going to put these there because I'll probably want to plant more. Beautiful. Tools. But, uh... Boom. All right. Bees. Made a, a very, very silly beehive location now this is just campfires uh, covered up with um, the trap doors so these things or so the bees don't fly into the fire and die because they will they're dumb but as you can see they are very very happy so all our all the bee uh, achievements all done I think I've got four achievements done today oh that wasn't my idea with the trap doors I saw someone else do that and I'm just like hey that works good but I definitely use it oh, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. It amused me. And if it didn't amuse you, it amused me. Well, hopefully this is actually the slime chunk. Because <laughs> if it's not, it's going to concern me. Because if that's the slime chunk over there and this isn't, there's going to be sad faces. Many sad faces. All right. That's probably too many. So what we're going to do is just go around the edge here. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like one of my slimes, doesn't it? There we go. Now I can pick up all my torches. So I use a very, very simple pattern for the jack-o'-lanterns. Just how simple? I'm not going to tell you. So, always facing north, because I have to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that I'm facing north. I just have to do it. So, five, five spaces in between. Five spaces in between. Five spaces in between. And because I know the pattern, that will work right there. So it's a little bit off-centered because I'm using a, a, an odd number pattern for these and this is an even number pattern for the actual chunk. Yeah, I'm going to do multiple pads for sure. Now, first of all, we need to do some confirmation. I need to I need to know for certain that this is a slime chunk. I'm certain it is. But one thing I found out, there's a slime chunk right over there. And I'm hoping that these blocks that are exposed right here weren't where all the slimes were actually spawning in from. And I don't think they were. But after I build this layer, I'm going to confirm Slime spawns, in other words, uh, I just, I can't continue. I can't in good conscience can continue unless I know that this is in fact a slime chunk. In other words, this is going to be a lot of work for nothing. So it's easy to confirm though. You build the spawn layer, the spawn bed. It's like this. And after you do this, you fly out of here and you look. Take care of that because that doesn't belong there. That's not going to affect the rates, by the way. But this is all this is going to look like. And then I'm going to go leave three, three blocks. And that'll be the next layer up. Easy. I'm going to leave that block there, actually. So now what we're going to do is go over here and just spend a little bit of time looking. If we see slime spawn in, we know it works. All right, so slimes, don't disappoint. Please, don't disappoint me. I 
if I've done this in the wrong chunk, then sad eyes, very sad eyes. Because that means I need to clear a whole bunch more lava. Yeah, it looks really good. It's very pretty. Now, just for giggles, I'm going to do another thing here. I'm going to clear out the mob cap as well. So you fly up like that. A bunch of mobs get um, get despawned, and you have a higher chance of getting something spawning in here. But mobs spawn in, mobs spawn out. You should be able to see something here eventually. So with just one platform, if this is working, you should see something, but it'll be slow producing because of the way we're doing this. Uh, Kevin, I lit up the caves the best I could because I, I could only find so many when I went down there. There's a, a number of caves under there. Everything that I uncovered got lit. Come on, give me some. I'm going to laugh. going to laugh if I totally screwed that one. Well, the best part is I wanted to mine it down to bedrock anyways. It just means I got more work ahead of me if, if that's not the right one. We have one. All right, let's um, let's watch the magic here. So in he goes. He's getting hurt. Hopefully he doesn't despawn during this process. Doesn't know what to do. Feeling dumb. Ugh. All right. Smaller guys come in. Okay, that guy died, and then you get the minis. And you can't see the minis because they're too far away, but they're dying. You can see the puffs of... Uh, I guess puffs of smoke. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a working slime farm that just needs a lot more layers. Now let's go take a look over here and see if we're getting the slime balls delivered. It's going to take, I don't know, 20 seconds probably for the slime to, to make it over here and down. Now, who knows if we'll get get more right away here, but um, this works. We we got it. Oh, yeah, the collection system's already done. Uh, this is just the overflow section of the stuff that I was already doing in the past. So, yeah, a collection system is complete. Followed by much happiness. Well, we have one more night to see if we're going to get attacked. Oh, but uh, we need to consider one thing. I don't have any food. Go get some monies. Uh, typically when I do stuff, I try to think ahead best I can. So most of the things that I do has some sort of purpose. Sometimes it's just to irritate myself. Typically that works pretty good. All right. Look at my bamboo coming up. That's just beautiful. Oh, 
Miss Beekeeper, I found a jungle. And so I found, not only did I find a jungle, I, I bred, no, I, you can't breed them. I, I killed them, but I befriended uh, three parrots and then I fed them chocolate chip cookies, which instantaneously killed them. And I laughed because I thought it was funny. All right. Hopefully we can get a little bit of uh, phantom action here. Oh, that did not sound right. All right, phantoms, I'm here. I'm ready for you. Oh, you're so right, Kevin. Kevin says, and sometimes you just do things to irritate others. Yeah, I do. I'm kind of proud of it. Right now I'm irritating myself trying to get phantoms. Funny part is there's going to be XP laying all over the ground there because XP orbs don't uh, despawn as quickly as other stuff. They stick around for a while. All right, we're almost midnight. Hopefully we hear the screech soon. I did not see any pandas. Don't worry, Miss Beekeeper, I will but I'm going to make a, um, a setup that uh, griefs the whole jungle with, with lava, burn the whole thing to the ground, and then we will find pandas, we will find ocelots, we will find everything. <laughs> All right. Um, so Kevin says, I remember one of Ethos videos where... Um, there was a big deposit of clay. Everyone was yelling at him to dig it up. So, of course, he refused. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I would do. Uh, Miss Beekeeper, Mount Underpants now looks like a cha an iron chastity built. Nice. Yeah, it kind of does. You get away from my turtle. You get away from my turtles. You. You are just standing funny. Miss. That's a miss. Fruit loom, nice. Okay, I'm dialed in, but can I actually fight in battle? No. Come on. There's got to be three knights now. Phantoms, come hither. Give me your wares. Funny part is I don't even want... I don't even want potions of slow fall. They're a waste of time, but... I still want to fight some phantoms. Uh, eventually. Well, anything? Anyone? This is terrible waiting night after night after night. And you know what? They might not be spawning in because I'm on an unspawnable surface. Oh! Give me thunder. Give me thunder.
Try with the sword, aim for the ridge across the back of their neck. Yeah, that's probably a really good way to do it. Come on, thunder. Please. Oh, they're all dead anyways. Neat. Not that that's stopping me from getting another one here. Yeah, you you want to greet me? Miss. Hi, hey, little fella. Well, that's that's a shame. No thunder, and all my villagers down here are dead. Well, I got a quick fix for that. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I got a trident. It happened. Now, did my boat go, like, way down to the bottom? Oh, no, I've got three boats. Okay, we're good. So, my villagers are all dead. They've all fallen. That's good, because I didn't like them anyways. Actually, not even a little bit. Ooh. I need... Okay, I got some of that up there. This might be a thunderstorm now. Hope. Uh, I got one piece of iron. Mm. All right. Need more iron. Trying to get a creeper head? Uh, not right yet. Okay, well, we got... A little bit of iron here. Actually, you know what? Good. No, uh, what I'm trying to get actually is a, um, a mine cart so I can get a villager in line just in case. If it starts thundering, I need him here in a boat. So a, a non-profession villager. We go. Oh, yeah, right. Not, not even gonna. Oh yeah, this is a very good thing. All right, little fella, I've got a spot for you. So what we're gonna do is just put these in here quickly. That's gonna go back down on the ground. Okay, folks, you ready for achievement? Oh, 
Okay, that was so right on so many levels. First of all, we killed a villager. Amen. Second of all, we got an achievement out of it. Third of all, we got to kill a villager. I hate villagers. Yeah? Did I get a second boat yet? No. So the boat is over here somewhere. Or did I destroy the boat? If I destroyed the boat, it was well worth it. Yeah, boat's gone. That was fantastic. Mission accomplished for that one. Total mission accomplished. Did I? What did I hear? Now, you there, sir. Oh, uh, Kevin, what for? Are you meaning the uh, the accomplishment? The accomplishment or the uh, achievement is, um, is kill a villager with lightning. Well, with your trident, basically, right? Either way, I'm, I'm happy. We got her. It's done. And I'm still not going to sleep because I still want to kill some phantoms. And now I want to kill a, a dolphin. So all these guys are protected. Good. Excellent. That's what we wanted to see. Actually, I think that is his boat. Almost. Here we go. And the boat goes in right there for the when the guy comes and gets brought in. Hangry at a new level, yes. Um <laughs> Ms. Beekeeper says you get murderous when you're hungry. Yes. Well I do, but it's more so about the villagers. They're terrible. Terrible, terrible creatures. Worst part about Minecraft. So I'm going to put this in right here. So we're, we're good. Uh, boy. Best day ever. So how are these guys doing down here? They look pretty good. They're enjoying themselves. Yeah, we're good. Well, we, we've finally done it. Uh, we've started the slime farm. I, I'm kind of excited about the slime farm. And depending on what happens tonight, I might even came, come back to this later and, and put a couple levels in the slime farm. And if so, I'll just live stream it because it's e it's easy enough, but it'd be nice for you guys to see if you want to see how I build it. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It's a bunch of platforms, 16 blocks by 16 blocks. That's it. But I think it's time for me to eat because I am hangry. Well, I'm not angry right now. I'm just hungry, period. So thank you for joining me on this stream. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, 1 p.m., mountain time back here on twitch and youtube simulcasting but now it is time to join the raid train uh, for those of you who are on youtube well you're going to want to start following me on twitch so you can be a part of these raids so we're going to go twitch or we're going to go twitch out here and see what we get
So I'm going to see who's playing here today. Hmm. Ooh, here's a good one. Cookie Charge X. We're going to raid Cookie Charge X. I believe she's a fellow Canadian, if I recall. I could be totally wrong on that one. So you can ask her yourself. All right, all aboard the raid train, let's go. Oh, excellent. We got nine viewers going in on the raid. Well, thank you for watching this video and join me tomorrow. You guys have a great night. Let's raid. Raid now.